Good morning. It's about 5.30. Um, and in spite of two large moose, some owls, coyotes, various rodents, um, I actually slept pretty good. You know, I was pretty active last night, but yeah. So I'm just kind of laying here and planning out the day in my head. There's about six miles, five and change, um, to Good Morning Isis get to uh, Young's store, the parking lot, where my ride is going to pick me up and bring me back to Lopstick, where my cabin is waiting. So I don't have to get up too terribly early, but I'm anticipating a slow pace. So I'm going to leave plenty of time and probably get there early, I hope. Um, who knows what the day will hold. So. Oh, goodness. I'm going to wake up and um, we're going to get moving. And I'll still show you the trail. Because this trip isn't done yet. So, hope you have a good morning, too. And, um, yeah, we'll see you down the trail. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't know if you can see, not too far off in the distance, but there's a tiny tree. It should be maybe in the middle of the frame with a little yellow blaze on it. And I don't know if you notice all around it, but... Do you see a trail? Not really. This isn't just COVID overgrowth. This is just not cutting a trail and depending upon foot travel that this trail doesn't see. So um, we're gonna do the best we can. We got six miles down to Young's store practically. And then I've got a ride back to Lopstick Cabins. So I'll talk to you down the trail. So I finally, I just got sick of it. I picked up the dog, carried her through it. I don't want to be doing that the whole trail. So that's why this trail isn't for us. Um, there's a lot of blowdowns in that tangle. I got the long pants on today, long sleeves, ready to do battle, heading down the trail. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have breakfast probably at the top of this peak here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to keep going. See ya. Just stopped to take care of a few things, got going again. Big moose right up the trail. Too slow with the camera. Damn. Oh, man, he was beautiful, too. Oh, I'll have to keep uh, my eye out and be a little bit quieter and a little bit quicker. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Made it to the top of Lovell Mountain. I'm gonna have to recheck that. It's stuck in my head as that, but I don't think it's right. Um, just got a call from my cabin. It's all set. I don't even have to go to the office and bother anybody with my smell. So I can just have my ride drop me off right at my cabin. Fantastic, but look at this view. It is so pretty. Oh, I am in love. It's, it's this is, this is what I like. None of this overgrown stuff. This is what I like. Um, it's a good day. It's a good day to get off trail too. And I'm gonna enjoy the views that I get and the sights that I see. Maybe I'll see another moose, you never know. 
<laughs> oh, what a beautiful sight. All right, I'm gonna take a few pictures and then we're gonna get moving again. Bye. What a way to mark a summit too. That is a huge root system of a blowdown. It is just massive. Pretty cool. Just stopped to uh, feed the dog. She takes a little while to eat, so um, I usually like to exercise her for a little bit and then she eats. So that's what we're doing. Um, Koval, I was way off. Koval Mountain, C-O-V-E-L-L. -L. Um, on my way to Prospect Mountain now. Um, and then it will be pretty much down and then a road walk to Young's store. Um, it's, it's still tough, you know? And the more blowdowns there are and the less blazing, the more the woods gets trampled. Um, I know this is a route found, finder's trail and I probably had no business doing it to begin with. Because as much as I like map and compass work, I don't like map and compass work. So, yeah. Um, I just, you know, people are going to be trampling all the way through here because it's not blazed well. And it's just going to flatten out the forest as, as the trail gets more popular. That, that's my opinion. So, anyway. All right, enough of this. <laughs> I'm going to save it for the wrap-up. Uh, we're going to continue, and I will check in with you probably in a little while. Nice, fresh, running, cool, almost cold water, which is good because I just about was running out. So now I've got about a little over two liters think we're good to go, but I think there's one more water source on the way down, so maybe I'll fill up a second time or just top off. I'm so happy to have found that. So now we can continue on to Prospect Mountain. Okay, we're on an ATV trail now. We just popped out of a really messy part of the forest, uh, boggy overgrown grass, um, the usual stuff for this trail. Uh, but again, very little blazing, really confusing. And I must have spent a good five, 10 minutes, felt like an eternity, walking back and forth, looking for a blaze. Couldn't find it anywhere. Almost thought about pulling a rescue. Wow. I guess I'm learning some lessons on this trail. So I'm gonna show you this and then uh, we're gonna get walking. This is how the trail provides. I just ran into two guys out on the uh, ATV trails. And they said, oh, you're right by Ramblewood, which is right next door to Lopstick. So I'm cutting it short. I'm cutting through Ramblewood, cutting up Route 3. My cabin awaits. And I got some pretty views coming up, so I'm going to show you. Hang on. First Connecticut Lake. We are almost there. Actually, no, we're here. Baby girl, we made it. What, an, what a great... Oh, now I'm psyched. We are at the cabin. We're the first one. So, I'll see y'all when I get in there.
Well, I would rather smell like original scent Dawn than Hiker Funk for the next two days. So, this is Hiker Trash at its finest. Washing clothes in the sink of the cabin. This is the life, I tell you. But I am showered and I am resting, sort of, after I do this. And life is good. So this is my cabinet lock stick. I've kind of kept the pack explosion to a minimum. The food bag's on the counter. The laundry's out, drying on the front railings, because that's what we do. The dog doesn't know what to do with herself. In the little living room area is all of my junk. And it's got a nice little bathroom. It's got two bedrooms. It'll do until I can get picked up and head for home on Wednesday. I just wanted to do a quick wrap up. Um, I'm sitting outside of the cabin. That's the first Connecticut lake behind me. The dog's inside. As you can tell, I'm clean. Uh, I haven't eaten yet. I'm still working on that. I did laundry. It's uh, hanging up to dry. Um, you know, the Coas Trail is for a certain kind of hiker, and it's a certain kind of hiker that I'm not. You know, I hike for enjoyment, not necessarily views. Um, I hike to spend time with my dog. I, you know, like to meet people. I don't like to have to concentrate so much on finding the blazes and finding the route. Um, so I'm not a co trail hiker and I'm okay with that. But I am an AT section hiker and that is where I'm probably going to be heading back to. I have um, another whole week of vacation after this week. So I might be planning some trips down to New York maybe so we'll see what happens um, just watching my laundry fly all over the place here but yeah that's about it I'm safe I'm happy my feet are killing me and um, I'll see you on the next adventure bye